going to be a lawyer in my country, and I came here and I went to art school. And that's where I am right now. And I wanted to thank you. That's great because the math was too much. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to start with like the beginning, like where I come from, for you to know me a little more and, and to have a sense of where my colors come to. And I decided to start with the um, in Argentina, we don't have a white house. We have a pink house. And that is the pink house. <laughs> the government house is pink. And, and the, the color of the flag is light blue and white, like you can see it here. And, and I decided to start with one of my paintings that is called uh, my genealogical tree. And you can move it. And that's my genealogical tree. It's like a painting like seven feet by five feet sort of thing. And I decided to use the same color that when I was thinking back, when you think about, about when you were ch a child or when you are growing up, I say I decided to see my life through like the pink color glasses as everybody talk, because I think when I was a child, that's how I want to remember. You, you can choose to, how to remember things. And I decided to do my, my genealogical tree, like usually artists do through like, like um, portraits of people. And I decided to do through my houses because I, I, I feel like houses can tell the same thing, like can have the same function as people. And there are my parents' house, my, my family from my, my mother's side, all my brothers, four brothers <laughs> and one sister from my father's side. And that is my house that I grew up and I decided to do it with the colors of the pink house instead of the white house and having the colors of the flag and also the color of the sun that usually is in the middle of the flag in Argentina. I, I wanted to have this as a talk. If you have any question while I'm talking, just ask me and we keep having this dialogue because I don't like moving a lot. <laughs> yeah, we can move to the next one. That is the door in my grandparents' house. I come from a huge, huge family. We will get together on Sundays and we will be like 60 people. <laughs> Cousins, aunt, uncle. And from my mother's side, like my grandmother and my grandfather were from Lebanon and Syria. They never went back to their country. And then like I have those sort of clan thing that you have to get together with the family or the clan. And from my father's side, like uh, we have more of the Spaniard and native from Argentina. And because of the Latin culture and also having this mix with the Lebanese, <coughs> Syrian sort of Middle Eastern thing, clan and family are so much together. Like sort of that the individual doesn't exist. It's more about the group. And you always talk about the family and you always talk about in reference of the individual, it's about your family, about the group that you belong, sort of thing. And I, I coming to America made me think a lot about the individual and how good it is to think about one person separated from the group. And I was trying to do that with my paintings. And that is the origin of this series of paintings that is about my family, and it's called Familia. And I did like 20 something or 30, around 30 paintings about the lack of these emotional boundaries between people in my family. And you can, we can see that that was the first painting that I did. I'm sorry that the colors are very, more vibrant that you cannot see very well here with the projection. But this is the first of my series that there are seven overlapping houses related <coughs> to my, my, my mother and my father's house and my, my brother and my sister. I will do these overlapping houses when I will call to Argentina. Every time that I will call and they will tell me about the problem with my brother, my sister, and I was trying to solve that problem. And I will do these overlapping drawings over and over and over again until I decide to become, and they become these paintings. <laughs> 